Welcome to Joe at the Movies. After you've seen enough movies, you can pretty much predict exactly what's gonna happen from the first act, but sometimes I'm surprised. Freelance surprised me. It wasn't good, but I was surprised. The concept and ethical angle this movie takes is a lot more ambitious than what you'd expect. I wouldn't say it's sophisticated, nothing in the movie is, but I sort of liked what was going on in the second half, between the quips and the gunfire. There was a surprisingly anarchic feeling to the latter half of the movie, and that's interesting. Freelance feels like an English remake of a much more intelligent foreign movie, but it isn't. Despite everything I just mentioned, at its core, the movie feels like it wants to be a mix between The Lost City and The Unbearable Weight of massive talent. Two movies I would have been fine with forgetting about. The Lost City angle feels especially unnatural though. Alison Brie's journalist character is a plot device that overstays its usefulness. She just doesn't have to be there, and to make matters worse, it feels like she was written by someone who hates women. Just a constant dead weight on the plot, only there to be in peril, to nag, and for middle-aged dads to say to their wives, look you'll like this, there's a chick in it. The dichotomy between John Cena's character and the dictator is the source of every Everything good I mentioned in the first part of the review, i.e. everything good in the movie. If the movie focused on them, it would have been tolerable. Of course, Alison Brie isn't the source of all the movie's problems. It looks bland, the action is weightless, it's painfully unfunny most of the time, but... No, never mind, it still wouldn't have been good. What was I thinking? There's definitely potential here, don't get me wrong. And I'm sure there was a pretty solid early draft, but as it is, Freelance is just garbage through and through. Thumbs down.